morning and welcome to this week's video. So this week we are looking at The Newborn Child by 17th century French artist Georges de la Tour. It's approximately 80 centimeters high and is kept at the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Rennes, France. And yeah, one could say that this is perhaps the most famous of all de la Tour paintings. So five things to notice. Number one, who is Georges de la Tour? Georges de la Tour is one of the most important French artists of the 17th century uh, in his low life subjects and the tenebrist manner of this painting. He was highly influenced by the work of groundbreaking Italian artist Caravaggio and his followers. And you can see it perfectly here at work in this painting where you have these really dark areas and then these areas sort of illuminated by light. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. And all the following elements are characteristic of the Latour style. So it's this powerful introspection and intense spirituality religiosity even sort of like zooming into one central point in the painting from which light is emanating then also the austere genre and devotional scenes are typical of him and then the dramatic effects of day light and candlelight interestingly enough it has been said that the qualities of Latour paintings reflected the strong Catholic uh, sentiments of Latour's native Lorraine. So L Lorraine, La Lorraine in, in France is very close to the German borders uh, and to the Protestant bordering states basically and it's been said that that whole area therefore became sort of a bastion of Catholicism uh, which is reflected in, in Latour's paintings. So Latour was even successful in his lifetime and he enjoyed court patronage in uh, Lorraine and in Paris itself. So he got commissioned paintings by Cardinal Richelieu, Louis XIII. And it was even reported that French King Louis XIII liked a painting of Saint Sebastian so much that Latour did, uh, that he had all paintings removed from his bedroom, only just to keep that one painting by Latour. And Saint Sebastian was actually one of the artist's favorite subjects. And here we're showing one of the versions circa 1649. He had a rather short-lived career actually, he died in 1652, uh, so he was actually 55 years old when uh, he died. And it's interesting, but Latour's work was nearly completely forgotten after his death. Uh, and that's possibly because his style was so ahead of his time. So he was actually quite avant-garde for his time. And I think uh, whilst he was even admired and commissioned during his lifetime with great commissions uh, after his lifetime people sort of thought that maybe he was a bit too sort of avant-garde so number two the iconography uh, so the newborn or the nativity is a subject that Latour painted several times always with an eye to the uh, inherent ambiguity of an image that is once profane so the motherhood and sacred, the Virgin and Saint Anne watching over the uh, sleeping child. So let's look at this painting as a representation of the nativity, as surely it is how it was intended by Latour. Uh, representations of the nativity can be found as early as the fourth century and artists relied on Luke's gospel. So just to quote here, chapter two verses 1 to 20, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem. Point number three, let's look a bit closer at the composition. So you can see that there's a strict geometry uh, that is here, which uh, sort of arranges uh, the figures and the forms. So at the center, the very center of the composition is the newborn child. It's depicted in a, an extremely delicate and realistic manner. And therefore, we think that Latour probably based the figure on, on life studies because it, it is actually very rare to see newborn babies depicted in old master paintings. Uh, and this painting is actually one of the very few 17th century paintings that actually depicts a newborn child. Uh, Latour himself had 10 children 
seven of whom died in a very early age. So uh, when we look then a bit closer, there are the two feminine figures then as well, which can be identified as uh, Our Lady, Virgin, and then also secondly, uh, Saint Anne, who are both turning their eyes to the baby, Jesus inviting the viewer to actually do the same and enter uh, this delicate scene as a viewer and share the intimacy of Saint Anne and Our Lady. So Saint Anne is here in the, in the foreground. She's delimiting the space, basically protecting the child. And Virgin Mary, uh, you can see sort of like a perfect triangular shape, which starts from her head and uh, her head is also a perfect uh, oval. So again, very geometric sort of shapes and lines, which is very unusual for 17th century uh, painting. Then having a look at the colors themselves, there are mainly three colors which prevail, uh, which is white, red, and purple. So white, of course, represents purity and innocence. So in that the baby is wrapped. Then the red dress of the Virgin is a prefiguration of her son's passion that is yet to come. So again, it's unusual that Latour didn't opt out to paint her in the traditional cobalt blue. And then the purple represents temperance, which is sort of the right balance between the senses and the mind. It's associated with wisdom. And last point to notice on the, uh, on the iconography uh, here in the composition is that, of course, the, the only source of light is the candlelight here held and protected by Saint Anne. So it's quite fragile and it enhances the mystery of the scene. Number four, exactly this point, the mystery of the painting. There's even more mystery that surrounds this painting. So A, it joined the collection of the Beaux-Arts Museum in Rennes in 1794 after the French Revolution. And we actually don't know who commissioned it uh, or where it exactly came from. It just sort of ended up in the museum without the original owners uh, having been identified. Another sort of, well, mysterious, for lack of a better word, uh, thing is that the date of the painting is uncertain. We think it's painted in the 1640s based on stylistic comparisons, but we don't actually know exactly the year that this was painting. Plus, also, the painting is unsigned, so everybody agrees with the attribution uh, that it is by Latour, but, uh, which is anonymous to be perfectly honest, but it isn't signed. So it's not dated, it's not signed, and we don't know who uh, exactly commissioned the painting, which which is a bit unusual for uh, a painting of this quality and historical, art historical importance. So in conclusion, I think we can say this is a very intimate and touching uh, representation of the nativity. And yeah, for me, I have to say this painting is probably a perfect introduction, therefore, to the mystery of the incarnation and the celebration of Christmas. So if you're watching this video near Christmas, a happy Christmas from us all. And we look forward to welcoming you to next week's video. Thank you for watching.